Hello everyone and welcome back to another anatomy tutorial where we are going to be talking about the muscles of the hip of the horse. In this video we will cover the muscles which we can see in the lateral view and in the next video we will go and talk about the muscles which we can see on the medial side of the hind limb. Before we start the section let's look at this muscle, the tensor fascia lata, the superficial gluteal muscle, in the lateral view we can see this big muscle, the biceps femoris muscle. Caudal to it we have the semitendinosus muscle and finally the semimembranosus muscle. And we will talk in details about the sciatic nerve in this video. From the coxal tuberosity originates the tensor fascia lata as you can see here and serves to the fascia lata. The caudal part of this muscle fuses with the superficial gluteal muscle in this area here. The superficial gluteal muscle originate from the gluteal fascia. Here we can see the muscular part of the muscle and inserts to the third trochanter. And here we can see the middle gluteal muscle. If we move the superficial gluteal muscle to the side, we can see how the muscle moves over the greater trochanter, and here we can find small fat tissue to reduce the fraction between the muscle and the greater trochanter. In some horses, we can also find a small synovial pores here just under the skin. Comparing to other animals, the superficial gluteal muscle moves over the greater trochanter uh, down and inserts to the third trochanter, which we can find here. Caudally here, we can see the biceps femoris muscle is huge in the horse. At the superficial gluteal muscle, if you look there, you can find that there is a tendon extends from the biceps femoris to the third trochanter. Now let's move the superficial gluteal muscle to the side one more time. And here we can see uh, the middle gluteal muscle, which we cut in the middle, as you can see here. The middle gluteal muscle inserts to the uh, greater trochanter of the femur bone and has a superficial part, this one here, and uh, that one is the deep part of the middle gluteal muscle, or we can name it as accessory gluteal muscle. Here at the area or at the level of the greater trochanter, uh, we can find the synovial borza, again, to reduce the fraction between the tendon of this muscle and the bone itself, this one here. Here we can notice that the greater trochanter is covered with cartilaginous tissue, as you can see. The next muscle here is the deep gluteal muscle, which also inserts to the greater trochanter. There deeper, uh, under these muscles, we can see the broad sacrotuberal ligament, and on this ligament we can see this structure. This is the sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve, and because of its position here, uh, it's flat. Okay, let's look at the muscles one more time. So this is the deep gluteal muscle, the accessory gluteal muscle, the middle gluteal muscle, and finally the superficial gluteal muscle. As you can see here, the superficial gluteal muscle leads on the vastus lateralis or the lateral vastus muscle here, which is part of the quadriceps femoris. We have on the medial side, of course, the medial vastus and between them we have the intermediate vastus muscle. All these muscles in this area will be covered with the fascia lata. As we described before, this is the fascia lata. Here we can see the longissimus muscle, or part of the longissimus muscle, of course. Caudally, the biceps femoris, as we said, it inserts on the third trochanter 
on the facial latter and on the patella and the lateral patella ligament on the crural fascia and finally there is a tendon extends from this muscle to the calcaneal tuberosity caudal to the biceps femoris here we have the semitendinosus muscle and the next one is the semimembranosus muscle Here we cut the biceps femoris muscle in the middle and move to the side. Just caudal to the greater trochanter, this is the greater trochanter. Caudal to the greater trochanter, we can find another muscle. This is the beriformis muscle. The beriformis muscle inserts caudally on the femoral bone. Under the piriformis muscle, we can see the sacrotuberal ligament. This is the broad sacrotuberal ligament. On this ligament, caudal to the greater trochanter, we can find the sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve moves down behind the greater trochanter and gives two big branches. The common fibular nerve moves superficially to the extensor muscles. We cut it here accidentally. And this is the tibial nerves, which moves between the two heads of the gastrocnemius muscle. Here, if we move the sciatic nerve to the side here, we can find some muscles, small muscles of the hip joint. Just caudal to the greater trochanter. The first one here distally is the quadratus femoris muscle. This one is the external obturator muscle. This is the gemellus muscle. And on the gemellus muscle, we can find the tendon of the internal obturator muscle. This is the tendon of the internal obturator muscle. In this view, under the deep gluteal muscle, which we cut here, we can see the hip joint. Covered here, as you can see, with the joint capsule. And in this small window, we can see the femur head inside the acetabulum. Here in the caudolateral view, we can see the hip joint. We opened already the hip joint, and normally on the joint capsule, we can see a small muscle. This is the articular muscle of the hip joint. Cranially here, we can see the tendon of the straight muscle of the thigh, or rectus femoris muscle, originates from the acetabulum, as you can see here. 